Does everybody have a verb sheet? Okay, so we're doing a nifal form of a verb that starts with yud. So, nifal. What is, how can we express this thought of yada in the nifal? The binyan is yad, I mean the root is yada. What will that look like in the nifal as far as a meaning? Known, I am known. So we're going to see that it's going to drop the yud. We're starting in the participle, no da. So we're going to see this often, that the vav comes instead of a yud. Feminine, I am known, you are known, she is known, no da'at. That's a pretty normal ending that we would expect. And what would we expect for the plural? No da'im. And the feminine, no da'ot. Participle. All right, I was known in the in the uh, perfect tense. No da t. So it's a little bit funny because it has a, a schwa under the i and it's a little difficult to pronounce. No da t. No da t. Just makes a little in your throat. You. What's the ending? No da ta. And you feminine. He was known. No da. It is, and okay, that happens. That's not confusing. That happens, on, but that, where else does that happen? Very typically. Can you remember wow. where that happens, huh? When you have a hollow verb, hollow verb. the third person uh, perfect matches the participle. For example, ba and ba. And ba. She, no da. She is known. We are known. No da nu. All y'all. Tem, you da ten. And no da you. Twice. The most important thing is that you can recognize it when you see it. <laughs> in the imperfect tense, in the nifal, you don't see the nun, okay? But you get an extra vowel. So, for example, I will be guarded, okay? Our friend Shamar, I will be guarded is not eshmor, which is I will guard, but eshamer, I am guarded. Ivada, ivada. All right, you will be known. Tivada. How do you say I will know? I will know. To drop letter imperfect. Ada. Tivadi. He will be known. Tivada. She will be known. Tivada. The vowel takes the place of the yud, of the root. We will be known. Nivada. All y'all. Tivadu. All right, here's your big fancy form. Tivadana. They, ivad u, and then the female form repeats. Infinitive form, the infinitive form of nifal form has a hey in it. No nun, but a hey. The form, if we go back to shamar, to be guarded, in the infinite form is lahishamer. It's got a hey in it. This is lahivada, to be known. Okay, so that's a nice little refresher. Command, the prefixes are dropped. And that would the tav, the, um, you get a hey instead of, instead of nothing. Yivada by hivada. That's the command form. And you yeah. probably never see it your whole entire life. We are in, according to my calculations, <laughs> verse 8. Chatat, chet. What is it? Sin. Sin. Whose sin is it? The sin of my people, Yochelu. What's happening? Sin is eating up the people. What do you think? Sin will eat you up. It'll give you cancer, depending on the sin, but it will eat you up. And what else? So here, uh, uh, here's your avon. So there are a, a bunch of words that are very close. Now this is, you know, Eddie was talking about whatever that was a few weeks ago. The avon. The avon. Yeah. There's also an aven, which is also a sin word. Uh, and I think recently, we had evil recently, right? It means a fool. Okay, so these are both sin, some kind of sin. Towards their sin, el avonam, their sin, yisu, what is this? Nasa, they will lift up their soul. They're lifting up their soul to, the, to their sin. To their sin. What does that mean? You know, you see wherever it is and he lifted up his face towards somebody or he lifted up his eyes and he saw something. So the idea of lifting up his soul towards sin is he's That's condoning it. That's what he's, he's following. He's going after it. Okay? Bad situation. It's very common that the name of the offering is the name 
just the word for the sin. Okay, right. there's a chatat, and it's a, either the sin or it's a sin offering. So that's not too far out, no, but I don't yeah, think I, they I should be eating that. it. Verse 9. So you have all these yidvav, alav, drachav, ma'alalav. What are all those? His plural something, well, except not the alav, okay? Vehaya, and it will be ka'am. Like, like the people, ka kohen, like, like, like the priests. Nobody is doing right. Not the priests, not the people. They're like each other. And isn't that the truth? But what happens if you have something going on in the leadership of your congregation, you will see it all over the chairs. Okay? Ufakadati, to visit with a specific goal, either for good or for evil. Either you visit somebody to appoint them a commander, or you visit them for punishment. What do you think these people are going to get? <laughs> yeah. I don't think of her uh, They're going to get a spanking. I will punish him, drachav, his derech, his ways. his ways, and his ma'alalav. So I think we haven't had this alal. Alal, at a very basic uh, root, means uh, work or works. But of course, we will look at some. Shemot Yud Pasuk Shtayim Lama'an For the sake of, for this reason, Tisaper No, it's not Tispor It's Tisaper What's the other one? Count or tell a story Recount Count or recount Recount, tell a story, okay? Tisaper Be'oznei Vincha In your ears In the ears of who? Your son Your son Uven vincha, and the son of your son, what? Asher hit alalti. So this is who's doing these works? Who? Who is I? Who is speaking? Yahweh. You know this verse, right? Why do we celebrate Passover? The great, bu- the great works that I did by Mitzrayim, v'ototai, my signs, asher samti bam, which I put in them, which I did to them, right? V'yadatem ki ani Yehovah. What binyan is that? Hitpa'er. Vayikra yadet. Pasuk eser. Okay, it's just a little bit different translation, but still the idea of uh, work is involved. Do we know Karim? Maybe not. It is a vineyard. Yes, well, the vineyard people should know where they were working. I mean, I know it's been some years, but that's where you went. Okay? So, but when we say the prayer, we don't say the fruit of the vineyard. We say, what do we say? The vine. The geffen is the vine. So this says, your, your vineyard, lo to olel, you will not work it. You will not glean. Peret karmecha is like every grape of your field, every grape of the vineyard. You will not tilaket, gather, glean, leket which we know from Ruth. Le'oni, for the poor and the gear. The stranger ta'azovotam. Leave them. I am Yahweh your God. Okay, one more. Yishayahu Gimel. Pasuk Shtem Esrei. Okay, Ami. Good, we know it. But um, it means to oppress. Okay. They are oppressors of, and here's this me'olel. And in this form, me'olel, it actually means a child. And you see that uh, in more than one place. You know, I don't know how you can think of that, but children are kind of a work. Not, not in the sense that you have to... Uh, no, I think it's just that they, you produce them. That's right. You go into labor to have children. That was my thought. They're oppressing the children. The people are oppressing the children. The women, mashal, they rule over. They're ruling over them. My people... Uh, this comes from footsteps are, uh, are, go- are going in error and the way of their paths. What is Bala? You remember Bala? Swallow. They're destroying the ways of their paths. So it's a condemnation. But you will see this Ma'olel as, uh, as children in other places, okay? Because you go into labor. Back to Hosea 4. And it will be like the people, like the priests. They're both evil. And I'm going to come visit them for punishment their ways and their works, Ashiv, I will return to them. I'm going to turn their works back on them. It's not going to be happy. Verse 10. They will eat 
Velo yisba'u. Do you remember? Sabah, they will eat and not be satisfied. Now, he's new. This is a little diffi- difficult because <coughs> uh, it could look a little bit like ozen that they were listening, but why is it not ozen? It's from there's Zana. No, there's, no there's no what? A Noah. Aleph. Okay, it would need an Aleph to be listening. Ozen is with a Noah. Okay, so they are engaging in their whoredoms. Velo yifrotsu. So you remember parrots? Mm-hmm. To break, break out. Yeah. Okay. They're break not out. they're not having a population explosion. They're not breaking out. Even though they're having all kind of activities that should lead to a population explosion. <laughs> they're not having it, okay, because they're cursed. Key, why? Et Yahweh. This is the object, Shibu. Yahweh. Azvu. Azav, we just had it. Yeah. They left yeah. off what? Lishmore. Guard. To guard, to to keep the commandment. So they are punished for all this. What is it? Znut is the same zana we just had. Prostitutions, yes, and the yayin, uh huh, and the tirosh. It will take your heart. Sin will eat up your heart. Verse 12. Okay, ami. There's a lot of ami going on here, right? Okay, so this is a little bit. What's an et? Tree. Okay. They're going to the tree to ask. What What do you think that would be? Idolatry. Like it's the idolatry. Yeah. They're in a grove. They're um, They're asking. I think it's even translated as counsel, though, because and it's funny because etza is counsel. The word for mm. advice comes from the word for tree. Okay, and also a makal, which I think we have never had. Makal is a rod or a staff, of which we have several words for such oh. things. All right, let's read that. And he skips the Bereshit Lamed Bet, Pasuk Eser. So who is speaking? Yaakov, right? And he's at the valley, a river of decision or something, <coughs> right? So, <coughs> katonti comes from katan, katan, but they made it into a verb. <coughs> I'm too small. I'm not great enough. For what? For all your loving kindness, your mercy, and all your truth. truth. Which, Asita, you did. You did at Avdecha to your servant. Key, Bamakli, with, with my staff. staff. In other words, only with my staff. Okay, that's all I had. Although he had all the kids and lots of, but he's saying, I just came so simply. Avarti et Hayarden Haza. I crossed over this Jordan. The Ata, and now. Hayiti, I was Lishne Machana to two camps. Oh, so he's talking about when he goes out, when he leaves, he comes over the Jordan with a staff. And now he's coming back with two camps of people, right? He's got uh, the Leah camp and the Rachel camp or something like that. Yeah. Right? Shemot Yudbet Yudbet Su Karasre. So you should already know this verse, right? Kacha thusly, thus. Tochlu oto. You're gonna eat it. Thusly you will eat it. Mot nechem, so we don't really know. Motnayim is sometimes it's translated as your waist or your your loins. One of those duels. Chagur. Where does it come from? It comes from the word for belt. Chagar. And what form is it? It's a passive form. Belted. Now, this is not Hagar's name. Hagar's name is Hagar, which she is. She is a gear, right? So, your loins are girded in your belt. And what else? Your na'alayim are on your feet. And your makel, we were just talking about. Your staff is biyad. Be'achaltem oto be'chazon. In haste. Why? It's the Lord's Pesach. One more makel in Zachariah. Yud Aleph. Pasuk Sheva. What is this er e? What is the root of that? Ro e means shepherd. I'm going to shepherd who? The tzon haharega harag. Flock for for slaughter. The sheep that are for slaughter. He's going to be the shepherd of the flocks that are for slaughter. Yeah, it doesn't really even mean therefore. It means yeah, like even the oni, the really lowly ones, the really poor ones. The ekachli, and I take for me shne makalot, two staffs. two staffs. Do you remember this? Le echad, one karati. I called him noam. What's noam? Pleasant. Naami. It's translated as beauty in a lot of the translations. And le echad. Just puts the name. 
It Mine just says. It just puts no. No, no, no um, okay. And Le'echad, the other one, Karati Chovlim. <laughs> is a rope. Where, what is this? Now you have to think of that a rope will be tightening. No, it's not the stripes. So the stripes are chaburim. Okay, it means literally rope, but you think of the stricture. Okay, this is the birth pangs of the Messiah. So he's got these two staffs. I don't know, the other place you see it is in Jonah, where it talks about the captain of the ship, and he's called the Rov HaChovel, the chief of the rope guys. He's the captain of the ship. So he took two staffs, he named one Na'am, which is usually translated as uh, beauty, and this one is usually translated as bonds, bands or bonds. And what happened, and I pastured the flock. All right, so back in Hosea 4.12, the people are going to the trees to ask questions, to get counsel, okay, like some divination. And the staff, Yagid, the staff is going to give the, the word. No, that's idolatry. Ki ruach zanunim, spirit of harlotry, hita. So this is to'e, which we had earlier. I don't know if we, have we ever actually done it? So eh, maybe next time it shows up, we'll do it. means to go astray. The spirit of uh, harlotry is causing them to go astray. And they are harloting mitachat elohehem. You know, it's not exactly under, the, but away from their God. Al roshe haharim. At the tops of, of the mountains, at the heads of the mountain. Zevach, to make a sacrifice. They are sacrificing. And also on the Giva'ot, what is a Giva'ah? A hill. A hill yeah. It's a hill of some sort. Yikateret. They're burning incense, okay? And I think that we have had this. Tachat. Yeah. Uh, and then it gives you some trees. Alon the and Livne. Alon is an oak. Okay, what's a Livne? Something from Lebanon? Some white tree, pine tree or something. And Ela is some other kind of... So there are three kind of trees here. They're under these three kind of trees. Why are they under the three kind of trees? Kitov, Silah. It's good. The what is the shadow of them? Is they're, they're up under the, the shade. in the shade. They're, they're enjoying the, the shade. Alken, therefore, Tiznena. It is another harlot thing. What? Who is it conjugated for? Can you recognize this? This is the fancy form, the fancy <laughs> feminine form. <laughs> they are harloting Benotechem, their daughters, right? And Kalotechem. Bride? It's the bride, your married women, your brides, Tinaafna, also that very fancy form. And who can remember Naaf from the beginning of the, the thing? More adultery. All I know is they're not supposed to be there, yeah. and they're not supposed to be doing what they're doing under yeah. the trees, right? You see that there's uh, the word Asherah is sometimes translated as a uh, as a grove. So it sounds like they're just going to some ordinary trees and uh, worshiping there. All right, the next verse has a lot of stuff in it, so we'll just have to wait till next week.